Hello, my friends. It's Riding Wednesday. So we are going to go ahead and look at the three words that we are going to write today. And don't forget that after you write your words, I want you to draw a picture to go with them. So the three words that we're writing today all have to deal with winter and things that we have learned about winter, just like hibernating, animals that like to hibernate. So our three words are going to be cave, because some animals go inside a cave to hibernate. Bear, because one of the animals that hibernates are bears. And snowman, because in the winter time, if there's snow, you can make a snowman. So let's go ahead and get started with our first word. Don't forget to get some paper and some pencils or markers, whatever writing tools you have. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna scoot the board over so that way you can see. All right, so the first word we're gonna write is cave. And cave starts with the k, k, k sound. Now, in our letters, there's two letters that make the k sound. Letter C for cat and k, 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 K for kangaroo. Well, cave starts with the letter C. So we're gonna write a C. I'm gonna start all the way to the left-hand side, start at the top, make a curve line around for my letter C. The next letter is A. So right next to it, I'm gonna make a circle with a tail coming down, just like that. We have K, V, V, V. I need my letter V, and V has all straight lines. So I'm going to start at the top, down, and up again for letter V. And the last letter to complete our word is letter E. So I'm going to come over here, start at the top, make my C, and a line going in for letter E. So my word is cave. Now remember, after you write your word, you're also going to draw a picture to go with it. So I have a brown here and I'm going to make my cave brown. Hmm. Caves can be anything. Some caves are made out of leaves. Some are made um, from rocks. So you can make your cave any way you want. Here's my cave. I think my cave is going to be covered with branches. So I'm gonna make some squiggly lines here. And I made a door for an animal to go inside my cave. So here is my cave. All right, for the next word, we're going to write bear because one of the animals that actually hibernate for during the winter time is a bear and they tend to go in caves. So we're gonna write bear. What sound do you hear? B, 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 the B sound. So I'm gonna make my B. I'm gonna start at the top, make a line down, up and around. Letter B for bear, B, bear. Next is an E. So again, I'm gonna come on top, curve around to make a C and a line going in for my letter E. Next is an A. So I'm gonna come to the top, make a circle with a tail coming down. There's my letter A. We have B, E, A, bear. I hear the R sound, so we need a letter R. R makes the R sound. So I'm gonna come to the top again, straight line down and a curved line on top just like that. And that completes our word bear. So now you get to draw a bear. Oh my goodness, I don't think I want to draw a scary bear. My bear is gonna kinda look like a teddy bear, I think. So I'm gonna make my bear, I'm gonna start with the head, make some ears, here's his eyes, his little nose and the mouth. And I'll go ahead and make his tummy. There's his arms and legs. 
And that's going to be my bear for our word bear. Great job, friends. So now we move on to the last word that we are doing today, which is snowman. So what letter do you hear first? S snowman. Letter S. S makes the S sound. So I'm going to write an S. An S is tricky because it has lots of curved lines in it. But never fear because we can try and try so we can get the hang of writing. I'm going to start up here at the top. Curve up down and around, just like that for our letter S. The next letter we need to write is an N. So I'm going to start at the top again, make a line down, and curve around for our letter N. Now we need an O, and an O is just a circle. So I'm going to start here at the top and go all the way around to make my letter O. Now we need to add a W, lowercase w. So I'm going to start here at the top, curve around and around for our letter W. So we have snow, but we want snowman, not just snow. So we need to add M, the letter M, M. So let's make a letter M. Now M kind of looks like a W, except it's turned upside down. I'm going to start at the top, make a line down, then make a mountain and another mountain again for letter M. Great job, guys. Now we're on to our next letter, and it's a letter A. So I'm going to start at the top, curve all the way around with a little tail, just like that. And now we need to add the last letter to our word snowman. So let's listen for that sound. Snowman. Mm. I need to add an N because N makes the N sound. So I'm going to come over here, make a line down, and curve around. And now we have snowman. So now you guys get to make your snowman. Remember, you can make your snowman however you want. I'm going to go ahead and make three snowballs for my snowman. I'm gonna make a large, a medium, and a small. And I think I will add buttons, his eyes, his hat, his mouth, and let's see, I know I have a brown marker with me, so I'm going to use brown for the twigs coming out for his arms and hands. And I have a pink color. I'm going to give my snowman a scarf and a pink nose because I don't have orange with me. He's going to have a pink carrot nose. So that is my snowman. That's how I drew mine. But remember, when it comes to your drawings and your writing, you make it how you would like it to look. All right, my friends. Well, that's it for Writing Wednesday. You guys did great. We wrote the words cave, bear, and snowman. Great job, friends. Give me a high five. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.